Okay, next thing we look at the error reporting by ICMP Internet Control Message Protocol. Here the error control is essentially error reporting. So what it does is error reporting. Okay. And a protocol for reporting error or status of DSCP, TCPIP, DCPIP at remote site. So, <coughs> so here the keyword is uh, reporting. It's it's only for reporting. Um, reporting by by whom? By a remote site. To whom? To the source. So so I'm uh, so so this error reporting is actually uh, for when you process a packet at a host or at a router. If you encounter some errors, then it was it was send ICMP message to the source of the packet. So you're essentially reporting error to the source host. And this IC, ICMP message should be encapsulated in IP header. So it's a IP head the payload of IP header. That's a ICMP data, ICMP header, and IC IP header. And you would have a type and code, two fields, to identify what kind of error message it is. And here's a combination with a type and code. With a combination of type and code, you specify your, you, essentially you are specifying the, the error message. And here let's look at uh, some, say, bad IP header if you find out the checksum is in error. If the checksum is in error, TTL expire if TTL is counted to zero. If TTL is counted to zero, then you send an, this message to the source. Uh, if uh, there are some error in the in processing the error, the root advertisement or root discovery, you send this. If this is a echo. You want if you want to send an echo request, you send this. If you want to send an echo reply, you send that. So you got error uh, echo request. Echo request and echo reply. So that's when you done uh, you, there's a tool called ping. This tool called ping, it essentially sends this message, this uh, ICMP message. And if you send ping to any station, to any host, this host should, the host should reply with echo reply. And that is the, this uh, ICMP message. And here you see some, uh, uh, there's network unknown or host unknown. If you send, if you process, a, this happened when uh, in, a, in a router, when you are, Processing a packet and you don't know the network where the network is or the where the host is, then you send this ICMP message. Or if you want to, if you send, you are sending to uh, uh, if you don't know the, the the network or the host, the network or host are unreachable, then uh, you send this message. Here, here's an example. If you send. If you receive a packet and you want to deliver to a poll number, say uh, on this station, on this host, there's a poll number, but this poll, on this poll, there's no process listening on this port. So then that's called a uh, destination port unreachable. I'm, I'm exp I'm, I need to send a message to a process listening on this poll number, but actually there's no process listening on this particular poll number. Then I'll send an ICMP message, which is a destination port unreachable to the source. Okay. So so these all these messages are used when uh, mostly when used when uh, when you are processing a packet at a host or at a router, and you encounter some errors, and you need to notify the source of the packet.
Here's an uh, example. Uh, echo request and reply. This is done by Ping. And Ping does this exactly. Ping use uh, ICMP echo request and reply to, 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 to implement. And uh, another example is destination unreachable. Uh, is used to report various unreachable reasons such as network, host, or poor unreachable. And if you send a packet, uh, but you find out the fra fragmentation on this packet is needed, but this packet has a bit set on, uh, which is do not fragment. So it has a do not fragment packet uh, bit set on. So it says that you can you, you shouldn't fragment this packet, but you need to fragment. So then you send you drop the packet and send an, uh, a message of this, uh, a message of this fragmentation needed, but uh, don't fragment is set on. Then you send this ICMP message to the source. Uh, Source quench. Source quench is also uh, uh, an ICMP message. Here, that's here. Source quench for congestion control. So you can send this uh, source quench message to when you have a buffer overflow. When you have a packet coming in, but the, the, the buffer has overflow. So no space to store this packet. Then you send ICMP source quench message to the source. Routing redirect. Okay. If the packet is forwarded to this host, this router, and it's 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 forwarded to a wrong router, the router then send an ICMP redirect message to the source. Time exceeded. Okay, if, if, if TTL is deducted to zero, if TTL is deducted to zero, then the router will send a time exceeded message, ICMP message to the source. And with this TTL, then uh, this trace route tool has been implemented utilizing this feature. I believe that you have uh, used uh, the, the, the trace route route tool if you haven't then the the the, the homework in chapter four would ask you to do that you need to use a trace route to do that and it's implemented by icmp okay the trace route tool this is a tool it sends an icmp echo request with ttl set to one and then it sends it to the target machine that the user specified. Okay, so initially it set TTL to one, and when the first router received this uh, ICMP echo request, then uh, it would deduct this TTL to zero from one to zero, and once after deduction, if it, it find it check to find that the TTL has reached reached zero, so it would drop the packet, the echo request packet. Will be dropped and then send and also send ICMP time exceeded message to the source. So the source would would would, would then know who is the ro first router. It would know who the first router is, and then it it, it does it again. The trace route does does this again. So it sent another echo request, but this time it was set TTL to two. And the reason it set it to two is because uh, in it you want it, you want the mass echo request to pass the first router, but in, in the second router because the first router deduct TTL two from two to one, and the second router deduct one to zero, so the second router will discard a packet and then send an ICMP time exceeded message to the source, then. The source, which is a trace route, will then know who, who 
the second router is. So I know who the second router is from, from here to there. I know the second router. And I repeat this, so I would know. So next time I will set the TTL to three. So with this process done iteratively, I would know who the first router is, second router, the third router. So I would know the path. I would know the path from here to X. Okay, uh, header error. So the checksum, header checksum is in error. Then I send this. There are some other combination, I mean, some other combination that you can request timestamp or something else. Okay, we also have IPv, uh, ICMPv6, which is supposed to be implemented uh, in IPv6 node. So every IPv6 node should implement IPv, IM, ICMPv6. ICMPv6. And these are the, again, uh, the protocol messages. And you will see some which have appeared in in ICMPv4, for example, echo request reply. But there are some other, for example, router solicit, solicitation and advertisement. Some of them are not in the in the v, v4. I, I, ICMPv4. Okay, here's a list of. Uh, uh, some or major ICMPv6 messages. 